Hello and welcome to the news from Bahrain International. I'm Samar Ajawi. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa lauded the historic victory of Bahraini runner Salwa Eid Nasser, who won the gold medal in the 400 meter race in the World Athletics Championship held in Qatar. His Majesty congratulated the athlete and praised the outstanding performance in this global competition, which promoted the position of Bahrain and demonstrated the outstanding attribute of Bahrain's athletics sports. The Bahraini runner clocked 48.14 seconds, the third fastest time in the history of the race. His Majesty also congratulated all Bahraini participants in the World Athletics Championships for their success and honorable results, praising the unprecedented results brought about by Bahraini athletes at the regional and international level. His Majesty affirmed the continuous keenness to provide support and encouragement to the youth in all sports to continue their successful march to uphold and promote their country's position. His Majesty the King also valued the tireless efforts of His Majesty the King's representative for charity work and youth affairs, chairman of the Supreme Council for Youth and Sports, His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa, and the first deputy president of the Supreme Council for Youth and Sports, president of Bahrain Athletics Association, His Highness Sheikh Khaled bin Hamad Al Khalifa, to serve Bahraini sports and providing the necessary requirements for athletes as well as providing plans and programs aimed at upgrading and advancing various sports which resulted in this global achievement. His Majesty the King expressed pride in the accomplishments of Bahraini youth in international forums and their keenness to excel in all fields, hoping that they continue their efforts in order to achieve more sports gains for the kingdom, wishing them success and further progress. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa sent a cable of congratulations to UAE President His Highness Sheikh Khalifa bin Zayed Al Nahyan on the success of the historic journey to the International Space Station by the first Emirati and Arab astronaut Hazza Al Mansour, who returned to Earth on Thursday. His Majesty the King commended the UAE's space strategy, which relies on national expertise, describing the scientific and technological achievement as a source of pride to the Arab and Islamic nations. His Majesty the King wished the UAE further success in the field of space and all other sectors. And His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa sent a cable of congratulations to the UAE Vice President, Prime Minister and Ruler of Dubai, His Highness Sheikh Mohammed bin Rashid Al Maktoum, on the success of the historic journey to the International Space Station by the first Emirati and Arab astronaut Hazza Al Mansour. His Majesty the King commended the U.S. Space the UAE space strategy, which relies on national expertise, describing the scientific and technological achievements as a source of pride to the Arab and Islamic nations. His Majesty the King wished the United Arab Emirates further development and progress. And His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa sent a cable of congratulations to the Abu Dhabi Crown Prince and UAE Armed Forces Deputy Supreme Commander, His Highness Sheikh Mohammed bin Zayed Al Nahyan on the success of the historic journey to the International Space Station by the first Emirati and Arab astronaut Hazza Al Mansour, who returned to Earth on Thursday. His Majesty the King commended the UAE space strategy, which relies on national expertise describing their scientific and technological achievement as a source of pride to the Arab and Islamic nations. His Majesty the King wished the United Arab Emirates further success in all fields. And His Royal Highness, the Prime Minister Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa sent a cable of congratulations to the UAE President, His Highness Sheikh Khalifa bin Zayed Al Nahyan on the success of the historic journey to the International Space Station by the first Emirati and Arab astronaut Hazza Al Mansour, who returned to Earth on Thursday. His Royal Highness, the Prime Minister, commended the UAE space strategy, which relies on national expertise describing the scientific and technological achievement as a source of pride to the Arab and Islamic nations. His Royal Highness the Prime Minister wished the United Arab Emirates further success in the space field and all other sectors. His Royal Highness the Prime Minister Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa sent a cable of congratulations to the UAE Vice President, Prime Minister and Ruler of Dubai, His Highness Sheikh Mohammed bin Rashid Al Maktoum of the success of the historic journey to the International Space Station by the first Emirati and Arab astronaut Hazza Al Mansour, who returned to Earth on Thursday. His Royal Highness the Prime Minister commended the UAE space achievement and wished it further success in the space field and all other sectors. 
and as Royal Highness the Prime Minister Bruce Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa sent a cable of congratulations to the Abu Dhabi Crown Prince and UAE Armed Forces Deputy Supreme Commander His Highness Sheikh Mohammed bin Zayed Al Nahyan on the success of the historic journey to the International Space Station by the first Emirati and Arab astronaut Hazza Al Mansour who returned to Earth on Thursday. His Royal Highness the Prime Minister commended the UAE space strategy which relies on national expertise, describing the scientific and technological achievement as a source of pride to the Arab and Islamic nations. His Royal Highness the Premier wished the United Arab Emirates further success in all the fields. And His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander and First Deputy Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa sent a cable of congratulations to the UAE President His Highness Sheikh Khalifa bin Zayed Al Nahyan on the success of the historic journey to the International Space Station by the first Emirati and Arab astronaut Hazza Al Mansour who returned to Earth on Thursday. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince commended the UAE space strategy which relies on national expertise describing the scientific and technological achievement as a source of pride to the Arab and Islamic nations. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince wished the United Arab Emirates further success across all the fields. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander and First Deputy Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa sent a cable of congratulations to the UAE Vice President, Prime Minister and Dubai Ruler His Highness Sheikh Mohammed bin Rashid Al Maktoum on the success of the historic journey to the International Space Station by the first Emirati and Arab astronaut Hazza Al Mansour who returned to Earth on Thursday. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince commended the UAE space strategy which relies on national expertise describing the scientific and technological achievement as a source of pride to the Arab and Islamic nations. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince wished the UAE further success across all fields. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander and First Deputy Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa sent a cable of congratulations to Abu Dhabi Crown Prince and UAE Armed Forces Supreme Commander His Highness Sheikh Mohammed bin Zayed Al Nahyan on the success of the historic journey to the International Space Station by the first Emirati and Arab astronaut Hazza Al Mansour who returned to Earth on Thursday. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince commended the UAE space strategy which relies on national expertise describing the scientific and technological achievement as a source of pride to the Arab and Islamic nations. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince wished the UAE further success across all fields. The first Deputy President of the Supreme Council for Youth and Sports, President of the Bahrain Athletics Association, His Highness Sheikh Khaled bin Hamad Al Khalifa, witnessed the weighing of players participating in Edition 27 of the Brave Mixed Martial Arts Championship held at Yas Complex in the UAE. The weighing of the contestants was attended by the Ambassador of Bahrain to the United Arab Emirates, Sheikh Khaled bin Abdullah Al Khalifa, technical and administrative staff members, and a number of mixed martial arts supporters also attended. His Highness Sheikh Khalid expressed happiness for the strong preparation of the participating players, stressing that these preparations reflect the keenness of the players to reach their required readiness to compete, giving them the opportunity to win victories. He noted that the strong preparations will be manifested on stage during the fights, which will have a significant impact on the success of the latest edition of the championship, Brave 27. The Ministry of Foreign Affairs has called on Bahraini citizens not to travel to Iraq, given the security conditions the country is experiencing. In a statement, the ministry called on all citizens in Iraq to leave immediately for their own security and safety and to exercise utmost caution, keeping away from unrest and rioting spots and observe the instructions of the competent local authorities. 
the ministry has issued the following contact numbers for those seeking any assistance. The President of Customs, Sheikh Ahmed bin Hamad Al Khalifa, welcomed the convening of the fourth session of the Government Forum 2019 to emphasize the continuation of comprehensive national efforts to promote initiatives and projects aimed at achieving the Bahrain Economic Vision 2030. In light of the comprehensive development process led by His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa, he extended his appreciation to His Royal Highness the Prime Minister Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa for his generous patronage of the forum and to His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander and First Deputy Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa for his initiative to hold this forum and his continuing interest to participate actively in it, which will reflect positively on all the participants. He pointed out that the government forum will continue to achieve the visions, plans and programs set, which will reflect on the citizen and contribute to the integration of the efforts of various government agencies, in addition to enhancing the contribution of the public sector in the comprehensive development, as well as increasing readiness to deal with various developmental requirements. He stressed the success of the custom affairs, which contributed effectively in building a solid base supporting business and investment, contributes to the sustainability of resources and create quality opportunities for local and foreign investors. He noted the continued efforts exerted and the keenness to achieve the objective set for the coming year, which will contribute to enhancing the competitiveness of Bahrain and the logistics sector significantly. He underlined that the custom affairs will be equipped with the latest technologies and best practices training for the national caters. He concluded by referring to the government's program 2019 to 2022 under the title Sustainable Economic and Social Security within the framework of physical balance, stressing the successes and positive results achieved by the physical balance program since its launch in 2018 with the aim of reaching the equilibrium point in 2022. He added that in addition to the work of this program, many government projects and initiatives have been implemented that have contributed to positive economic growth. The Under Secretary of Municipal Affairs at the Ministry of Works, Municipalities, Affairs and Urban Planning, Sheikh Mohammed bin Ahmed Al Khalifa, affirmed that the Government Forum and the gathering of decision makers in the government sector under one roof in the presence of His Royal Highness, the Prime Minister Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa and His Royal Highness, the Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander and First Deputy Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa, comes as a follow-up to the ongoing efforts and an emphasis on the plans of the coming year to consolidate the objectives of the comprehensive development process of Bahrain, where the citizen is the main concern. He pointed out that the main objective emphasized by the forum is to meet the aspirations of the citizen through the provision of government service with high quality and efficiency, which is reflected in the achievements in various vital sectors, indicating that the municipality's affairs continue its developmental approach to raise the effectiveness of performance to satisfy customers through the completion of their government service quickly, accurately and proficiently. He noted that stimulating creativity and innovation is confirmed in the annual forum, which are the core values of the national caters in the municipality's affairs and provides more investment opportunities in the construction sector, which reflected positively on all vital sectors that support the national economy. He also stressed that the development is an ongoing one to deal with the various developmental requirements as defined by the government program to promote social and economic security for the benefit of the nation and the citizens. The Embassy of India organized the event Say No to Single-Use Plastic at Karababad Beach as a tribute to Mahatma Gandhi, who is an advocate of environmental preservation, protection and sustainable development. More details in this report with Hiba Abdul Ghaffar. On the occasion of the 150th birth anniversary of Mahatma Gandhi, the Embassy of India organized the event Say No to Single-Use Plastic at Kababad Beach as a tribute to Mahatma Gandhi, the great leader and advocate of environmental preservation and protection and sustainable development. Cleanliness is godliness. It is uh, to pay tribute in a befitting manner we decided to really devote our time today for cleanliness, 
for giving the right message about the preservation and protection of environment. And we are extremely delighted that more than three, four hundred Indian community members and particularly, especially the students from various Indian schools joined us today. And not only they did the cleaning, but this is a concept. These children will take it with them. It will remain with them for years to come. Hundreds of young students from various Indian schools in Bahrain, enthusiastic Bahrainis and members of the Indian community participated in cleaning up the beach from plastic waste, which raised their awareness regarding the environmental hazards of single-use plastic. I learned the importance of cleanliness. This has not only embarked the occasion of Gandhi Jayanti, but has also provided a platform for us youngsters to learn about the importance of cleanliness, togetherness by forming groups and collecting pieces of plastic. Great thing to initiate this uh, cleanup activity and to include the school students. It's a great thing. Our younger generation needs to know more about the awareness of the plastics and uh, more people have to come out and initiate to clean up the, our country and be a healthy life. Existing plastic which is just lying around beaches is obviously very harmful because aquatic animals and various other uh, ec uh, ecological problems arise because of it and I would urge each and every one of you to please conserve our earth and reduce the use of plastic. Environmental enthusiasts along with students were on a mission yet managed to enjoy the gathering and the experience and promised to convey the message to their peers. I think from today I'm going to change everything that I used to maybe do maybe single use plastic has to be stopped it has to be stopped looking into like there are a lot of plastic bottle caps and um, a lot of um, you know plastic bags thrown in for no use I don't think I don't know why they're doing this but I think it's a great initiative taken a lot of students participated a lot of parents came in which is really nice um, so I think yeah maybe from today I'm gonna change and maybe everyone's gonna change it's gonna instill something new into them yeah, from to now on, I'm going to change uh, all the plastic to either uh, glass or uh, uh, steel. And for example, uh, my uh, I have a plastic bottle, which I would be turning it into a steel one. Youngsters said the experience taught them a lesson and pledged to avoid using single-use plastic and protect the environment, which is an achievement on its own. Changing ideologies of the young generations mean a better future. A wonderful celebration here today by the Indian community in Bahrain, celebrating 150th anniversary of Mahatma Gandhi, who cared so much about the environment. Today, by cleaning beaches and collecting plastic. Reporting for Bahrain International, Amheba Abdul Ghaffar.